Hi, I'm Random Trashy. Welcome to the channel. Here I've got the takedown bag for By Hazard 4. A massive thank you to the guys over at Thomas Jacks. They sent me out a ton of Hazard 4 kit to check out. I have tried out a few different rifle bags before, but I personally use a large Pelly piano case for my gun. The only bad thing about it is if I'm travelling up to events and stuff with friends, they are so bulky and they take up so much space, especially now that I'm using a very short rifle. Um, a bag like this is absolutely perfect. The previous bags that I've tried out are good for carrying a gun, but not really for accessories as well, where this bag works really well for carrying a gun, whether it be a SBR style rifle that you could fit in here in one piece, all the way that the bag was originally designed and named after a takedown, which means we're splitting the upper and lower receiver and carrying up to an 18 inch rifle split in here. I'm quite lucky that uh, here I've got my TM416D dev groove. If I collapse the stock in like so, it fits in here absolutely perfect. Now I have tried it all out, it does fit and everything. As you can see from the cover image, um, it fits in there quite nicely. The good thing about it as well is all of the accessories. So I will take you over this bag, really, really nice quality. It's available in ATAX, available in Multicam, Coyote and Black. If you buy it in Coyote in Black, it comes with um, the 1000D Kodora material. If you get it in ATAX or Multicam, it comes up in 500D uh, Kodora material. So the Coyote and Black are gonna be significantly heavier, a little bit denser, but they will wear much better than this material. Although I you know, talk about materials and stuff like that a lot, unless you are using this day in, day out and punishing it, 500D Kodora is more than capable of taking the absolute years of abuse that you're gonna give a bag or a pack. You know, it's very f rare that unless you're on deployment and this is getting absolutely abused, um, that you're gonna wear through. So, you know, 500D, 1000D, I would only really consider the weight as being one of the key things, not really the amount that it's gonna wear. With that little disclaimer over, let's run into some of the features of the bag. Nice, big, heavy carry handle. Nice thing about the carry handle as well is underneath you've got this kind of it's almost like a suede leather material. It's synthetic, but really, really nice. Obviously, if it gets wet, it just means that, and you're carrying this over a long period of time, that you're not gonna get anywhere on your hands, rather than a 1000D or 500D could be quite abrasive. Some nice compression straps on here, as you can see, nice weight-saving uh, clasps on here. Really good quality, nice and heavy. You know, they don't feel cheap or uh, nasty. They've got a ton of strain on them, um, and you're not gonna sort of pull them apart. Nice, big, heavy quality zippers. I think the Hazard 4 kit that is placed together, you know, you you can tell by all the materials and buckles that are used, they really do not skimp on the equipment um, and the small accessories on this, which normally really tells a bag apart. I'm just gonna open up the three accessory panels on the front um, first, and then we'll get into the main area of the bag. Gonna open this up. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a massive fan of pockets being unlined like this, as you can see the stitching through from the front. Not really a big problem with something like this. You've got a ton of accessory space in here. Nice little Velcro pouch here for you to be able to tuck stuff in, put a med kit in here for you to be able to put tourniquets, something for quick access, and, but you can keep that nice and tucked away. Nice tall pockets in here. If you are carrying any weapon tools or anything like that, means that you're gonna be able to tuck a ton of little accessories and stuff. Nice, quite a deep pocket. If you are gonna you know, throw a jacket in here or a lightweight windproof or something like that, definitely be able to fit that in there. This isn't just gonna be for gun orientated accessories. Big Velcro area on this middle, um, on this middle pocket, so if you are gonna put any call sign IDs, you're going to the range for a day and a few of you guys are rocking these bags and you can always stick your kind of patches and stuff on here. Next pocket up, nice to notice that this one is lined and then we've got a full Velcro area in here. Now if you are gonna use holsters, if you're gonna use this for other weapons, also if you've just got Velcro uh, mag pouches, you've got Velcro accessories, Nice pocket for it, again, nice and deep and nice and lined. So if you are gonna, say, stick in there a Velcro phone holder, for example, and you stick your phone in there, you know that you know there's no abrasion from the front of this. Nice big pocket again. Top pocket, a little bit smaller, not really gonna get too much in here again, unlined this pocket. Gloves, um, any immediate equipment, if you do carry a small mini medi pouch or something like that, Top pocket's gonna to be perfect for it. If it's just gloves or small accessories, cleaning kits, stuff like that for your gun, gonna tuck away nicely in there. What I'm gonna do is just open up these compression straps so we can get into the main body of the bag. Just gonna split this either side. Again, we have got some Molly real estate down the side. It's only sort of three Molly deep, so you're probably not gonna get massive amounts of accessories on the side. And to be honest, with the shape of the bag, I think that's kind of 
the neat feature of it, I wouldn't want to bulk it out widthways. That's what's nice about this, is that compared to something like a piano box for your rifle, this is going to take up minimal space. If you are space saving, if you've got a small car, you want to just be able to carry your weapon around quite efficiently, this is definitely a way to do it. On the inside of the back pocket, notice that there is a nice big lined pocket. Again, any types of accessories, if you are going out for the day or you just want this to be your sort of grab bag for your gun so you don't have to worry about it, there's tons and tons of storage. Nice thing to notice on this is the zippers, really big heavy quality zippers, got the pull cords on here that rubberized. We've also got the links on these both sides so that if you was to put your gun in here and you, you know, left it anywhere, you can put a secure lock on here or you can zip tie it or anything like that just to stop people from going through your bags. But uh, there is that capability to put a lock on here. I'm going to open this all the way down, you can see we've got the divider in the middle and then we've got compression straps either side. Nice big lined pockets, lined on the inside, got nice soft material, know that your gun's not going to get scratched. If you are going to break it down into two uh, pieces, if you've got a long rifle, then you can put, you know, say the lower receiver behind and the upper receiver in front. If not, I'm just going to grab my 416 and uh, place this in here so you can see, fits quite nicely. Just going to tuck that down. Not a problem, I've got quite a large flash hider on here as well, so if you were using a traditional flash hider, um, you know, you're going to have no problem squeezing the gun of this length into the, into the bag. Again, if you did have any problems, then you could always break it down into two halves. So a really nice quality bag, just going to spin around to the back, lift and uh, zip all of this up. Just spin around to the back. So the key thing about this as well is it is a single um, strapped bag. So it comes over one shoulder and down one side. What I'm going to quickly do now is just lift this off of, um, off of this hanger. Move this hanger out of the way. And then I'll just show you the ease of kind of throwing this on. Really nice. Place your arm through. What we've got then is the bag over your shoulder. One of the nice things about these bags is these messenger styles as well is that if you are carrying the bag, it's over this one shoulder, it has the tendency to slide round like this. So we've got a lot of slack on here at the moment, just going to tighten that right up to the body. The next nice sort of feature of this, we've got a few straps around the base and then from the top of here, just going to fold all of these straps out of the way. We've got this right hand strap. This brings it round underneath the body and just gives you another nice point of contact. When you bring the rest of the bag up over the shoulder, just helps secure it a little bit more. Got a nice big clasp on there. I hope you can see it with a lock-in buckle on the front. It just holds the bag nice and still. So also one of the key things about this was the accessibility of the weapon. If you did need to access that weapon quickly, you can grab this handle like so. You can bring the bag over and then you can split it from this side and you have full access to the weapon. So a very nice bag, very comfortable. Obviously that messenger style is only going to suit a select few people. To be honest, for me, carrying this, you know, just having this as a, as a gun bag to carry the gun around in with this handle on the side, really is efficient for me. Nice big padded back. Again, nice big padded uh, strap for to throw it over your shoulder if you are going to be walking out to a range. You know, if you have quite a walk from your car, say, up to the site, a bag like this is going to be absolutely perfect, nice and comfy to wear. You can throw it over a plate carrier, not have to worry about shoulder straps and all that sort of thing. So a very, very nice bag from Hazard 4. If you do want to go and check this out, I will put a link to the guys over at Thomas Jacks in the description below. And put a few places where you can pick this up as well in the description. If you have any feedback, comments, anything like that, make sure you stick that in the comments box below. A like, subscribe to the channel is always much appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.